they're a tough way for the, the boys to lose, but a good exercise for them. Yeah, listen, it was worthwhile. Um, the likes of Fraz, Reedy, uh, young Luke Kenny, Maury Campbell, in particular Kieran Offord as well, they haven't had many 90 minutes, so that was the, that's the main exercise behind it. Obviously, we want to win. It's a competitive game. Uh, I thought the boys dominated most, la most parts of the game and possession without maybe hurting them in the final third. Um, Toy as well, big for him to get 90 minutes. Um, and then some of the younger boys coming back from loan, back into the mix, playing our style in our system. So it was a, all in all a good exercise. Obviously a shame the way it worked out in the end, but good luck to East Sterling and, um, and hopefully they kick on after this. You mentioned Toyose getting 90 minutes. Eamon Brophy got 45 as well, which I believe was always planned. How important was that? Yeah, brilliant for Brophy because uh, we got him 45 so he can train normal now uh, for the rest of the week and build towards the weekend. Um, T needs those minutes. He's been training now kind of every week with the younger boys and with ourselves, but um, sometimes it's better off to get the minutes in the games. As much as it's uh, no disrespect against a lower league team, you have to get minutes in games. It's different to fitness in, in training. So um, he'll be better for that. It'll stand to him. And He threatened beyond a few times. He was unlucky maybe not to get a penalty and a couple of half chances so um, he'll definitely improve as he goes. What did you make of the overall performance? Uh, I thought the first half I thought we were uh, we just moved the ball too slowly I thought it was a little bit passive in the first half a little bit slow but we spoke to them at half time they moved the ball a lot quicker and I thought second half we dominated um, without as I say maybe peppering the goal as much as we probably should but um, yeah a lot to look at a lot to clip and a lot to work with the younger boys and and um, have a look back at and, and, and work with them in training because we don't get enough opportunities for the young lads to, to be exposed to mistakes and then that's how you learn. If, if they play games against com competition stuff or else if it's uh, friendlies, then at least we can we can try and work with it back in the training ground. You've worked a lot with some of the younger boys since you've come into the club. They've been integrated into first team training as well. How did you feel tonight getting to take them uh, as I suppose manager? It was good. It was brilliant. Yeah, it was brilliant. Um, listen, I, I do a lot of work, obviously, assistant manager. I think my role a lot of times is to, to try and develop the players maybe on the edge of it, um, try and make the, the bench players starters and make the young lads come onto the bench. So um, I do a lot of work with the lads along with Alan McManus and, and obviously the gaffer as well. Um, so it was good to be there and fronting it up and, and they know we're here to develop them. They know it's not the end of the world that we lose the game. So we can use this as an opportunity then to say, OK, well, this was good, this was good. But these are areas we can develop and it gives us something to work on for the next few weeks. Finally, young Fraser Taylor got the captain's armband tonight. How big a moment was that for him? Yeah, I think Fraser deserves it. He's been brilliant uh, all of pre-season. You saw he got his debut the other day as well. That's deserved. It's not token gesture. It's not for the sake of it. He deserves what he gets in the same way as Dylan Reid. Fantastic talent as well in midfield. Kieran Offord has been fantastic since the start of pre-season. Obviously pushing for a start as well in the first team as well as new signings. So um, it's been brilliant and, and Fraz deserves that. Obviously needs to grow and, and bit, get bigger and stronger. But tac technically and technically, uh, tactically and technically, he's uh, he's different class. So hopefully he can kick on physically. Yeah, man. Thanks for your time. Cheers, man.